In came Viv Anderson, a seasoned European traveller with Nottingham Forest a few years ago. And in came the muscular Welshman Mark Hughes. Neither had been selected for the first leg. Not too many household names in the Hungarian side, although Bodnar, the goalkeeper, proved to be quite a character at Old Trafford. Our match commentators, Brian Moore with Ian St John. United's possession again. Important that their passing is accurate, their possession in this game is good. They must give nothing away. And all the time as Pesh seek to put right this two goal of disadvantage that they have, the time is running out against them. Martin to Hughes. To McClare. Anderson made a little break down the right. Lahoda getting the better of McClare. Played up towards Lovac. And now Lahoda, who had the one genuine chance that uh, Pesh made, actually, in that game. At Old Trafford. And Say was in there, but his header was all over the place. You can tell from that reaction he was anything but pleased with it. Lahoda firing in a good cross. And Say way off mark. Alistair with the kick. Bruce following it in. A throw to Pesh Munkash. But there was an example, Brian, of uh, two defenders just kicking the ball away. One, one gave it straight to the defender, another kicked out of, out of play. I mean, there is no pressure on Manchester United, and, and why they just can't get the ball down and, and keep it among themselves, I don't know. That's say making a good break. Well, that may well quicken up Manchester United's actions as uh, Laszlo Tse, who's played normally in the midfield, but made a good break there into a good attacking position. And not far away. Lehota. Trying to get Lehota away, and this time they've succeeded. Could be a problem here for United. Turned his man well, the cross came in. And Bruce, in fact, put it behind in the end for the corner. But just once or twice in the last five or ten minutes on the break, they've begun to look just that little bit more menacing, Ian. They certainly have, and uh, I think maybe, you know, they, they decided, well, we mustn't let United score an early goal, or the game is finished. They would have to score four. True. Uh, and it may well be that, uh, who knows, in the second half, they may attack a bit more. Webb's header away. Good long range shot. Sealy down well. From Chena. So we've had uh, one shot from Say that went over the top. That one from Chena. The first time, really, in two ties that uh, Sealy's been forced to make a really serious save. Donaghy. Martin trying to get forward there, being pursued by Konya. Cross coming in is Clayton Blackmore. That's wide. Well, that, I have to say, would have been... Uh, I think the linesman had his flag up. But I'm not sure, Brian, uh, whether he was given offside or not. No, he doesn't seem... No, I don't think so. No, he certainly wasn't offside because he ran from very deep. Now, that was a, a very good chance. All he needed to do was side foot that one. Blackmore, who scored in the first leg, of course. And has got three to his credit this season, plus one in the charity shield. He's in a good run of goals at the moment, and that would have been a really priceless one. Anderson, doing well. Hughes, no foul, said the referee, although Hughes will claim that he was wrestled to the ground there by Brown. Anderson with the throw. McClare didn't get a touch with the header. Paratsky picked up by Webb for Lee Martin on the far side. Hughes waiting in the middle. Webb's gone in there as well. Martin looking to keep possession. Eventually brought down and a free kick for Manchester United right on the edge of that uh, Hungarian penalty area. Now this could be interesting. This uh, could be indeed quite interesting, uh, Ian. Uh, Webb's gone across there. Martin's gone across there. Blackmore's in there as well. Remembering the, the shot he had in the first game, I would think... Uh, 
Bodner well. might fancy himself a, a pop at this one. And Bodner will hoping, be hoping it's not as embarrassing for him here as it was then. By Clayton Black. Oh, oh that's a splendid save though by Bodner. An excellent free kick there for Manchester United by Clayton Blackmore. But an even better save by Laszlo Bodner. Here's Martin playing it forward to his captain. Here's Neil Webb. And now Anderson. McClare's outside him. Hughes is calling for it. Cleland held up there by Say. Bruce intercepting well again for Manchester United. Webb, a touch to McClare, back again to Neil Webb. Hit from a long way out. And a goal kick. Webb. McClare. Charged down by Hughes. Here's Clayton Blackmore again. A shot by him against the post. What United would have given for one there, and it may not be over yet. Hughes trying to get it in. And it was a beautiful shot against the base of the post and out again. You couldn't imagine it back home, could you? The home team being 2 0 down and playing the way that Pesha had been playing. I would think the crowd might have turned a little bit nasty on them. But this crowd here, as we said, is a very sleepy place, and, and they're just sitting watching it and you know, seem to be quite happy with it. Blackmore. Trying to turn the ball in now. And the header goes in from Brian Leclerc. And that surely settles it once and for all now. It was a lovely ball in and a delightful header by Brian McClare. So there were two of them queuing up for it, but uh, nice header by McClare. Tucked it away in the far corner. That's his fifth goal of the season. He's going through a good spell. He's had his problems, and uh, but he's always been a battler for Manchester United, and uh, he's got in here forward, supporting Mark Hughes well, and what a very good header that was. Suddenly Webb is through with Hughes outside him. It could be a profitable little excursion this for Manchester United. Hughes is shot well saved that time by Bodner. I'd like to see Hughes get one in, the, in this last minute. Uh, he's worked hard for it today. The lone figure up front, always a difficult job. But I mean, he has he stuck to his guns, battled away. Foul there by Clayton Blackburn. The final whistle, it's success for Manchester United. They start their long journey home now with the happy thoughts that the journey into Europe for this particular English club will continue with a goal by Brian McClare in his second leg. An early Yuletide present for the festive band of United followers and a gift for which Alex Ferguson is indebted to Clayton Blackmore and his contribution over those two legs. Uh, when you're picking out individuals, I mean, you put Clayton Blackmore into the midfield, had an excellent game. Yeah, he did very well, and then he's unlucky not to score two goals again today, hits the post and misses a chance in the first half. Uh, but um, I think all round it was totally professional, and uh, the whole thing's been a good soldier because all the eyes are on us, and the support have done well, you're all standing here. Yeah, yeah. They've done well, uh, and they've, they've had a good time, but they've been behaved well. The supporters have been brilliant, I must that's say. That's yeah, first class. Yeah. And now, now in, in the hat, in the hat on... We're well, in the hat, and that's the important thing. And the other thing is, too, is incentive. Because if we can get through this one, it takes us right through to March for the quarter-final. Yeah. Which is really important. It's, it's almost like a semi-final. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, uh, it's a, such a great incentive. It's almost like a semi-final, you know, that you've got this thing in March. And you get the draw in, in December, and everyone's in anticipation then, you know, who you're going to be playing against. Well done, United. Well done. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs> Christmas comes early in Hungary. A triumphant night in Europe then. Manchester United and Aston Villa through to the second rounds of those competitions. Well, let's now catch up with the rest of the news around Europe and at home. David Bobin has the details. David. Thanks, Tony. 
Well, the biggest hurdle of the night was surely the one facing Wrexham. Held to a goalless draw at home in the first leg, they faced the awkward journey to Denmark in the Cup Winners' Cup. Well, Little Wrexham may lie 90th in the Football League, but that certainly didn't stop them from taking the lead. Chris Armstrong's header in the 11th minute, giving them a vital one-goal lead, and they managed to hold it to the end, and that guarantees them some very lucrative European action for one of our smaller clubs. So, Wrexham squeezing through then, but there were plenty of goals around elsewhere, particularly at Bucharest. This free kick put Stoyer ahead after 22 minutes, Illy Stan the scorer. Then, 15 minutes later, Illy Dumitrescu put the 86 competition winners 2-0 up. He was a key member of this year's Romanian World Cup squad. Then, on the stroke of half-time, he scored with a brilliant free kick to make it three and his second goal of the game. It stayed that way until 11 minutes from the end. Dan Petrescu, the Stoyer defender, with number four. And a miserable night for the Irish was rounded off when Petrescu scored his second two minutes from the end. Final score, Stoyer five, Glen Torren nil. Bobby Robson's new team, PSV Eindhoven and the Red and White Stripes may be leading the Dutch league, but they're out of the Cup Winners' Cup. Held 0-0 at home by Montpellier, they go out 1-0 on aggregate, despite chances at both ends. The PSV chairman said after the game, this will cost us millions. Well, now for the other British and Irish results in Europe in the Cup Winners' Cup. Three British wins, Pekshi Munkash nil, Manchester United one, confirmation...